Hey y'all, good morning. It's Yolanda in the bus. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to try to prop this up because I hate when it rocks around. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Ralphie's poop bag works perfect. Look at my new shirt, first of all. Struggle is real. I feel like Target like embodies like all of my life. Um, but I wanted to jump over here really quickly because if you um, see my last post, like maybe you will mistake in it. Um, as something else and I not that I give a fuck of like however you might interpret it but I feel like I just wanted to kind of speak on this really quickly so um, Ralphie likes to hey babe uh, Ralphie likes to go to the leasing office um, to get treats okay so leasing office opens at 10 if you follow me on Instagram you'll know it's kind of like the morning ritual Ralphie walking me like and by walking I mean pulling my bitch ass uh, to the leasing office to get treats and it's so bad that like he will stand at the leasing office door and um, not move okay it is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time okay this motherfucker is ready to go out because he's had me up for forever today and I'm like it ain't time for you to want to be going out and doing your thing so um, I made a post that said um, Something along the lines when I get the message that says, girl, I quit my job, and then I hashtag boss at life, real raw and free as fuck. And I want to just hop over here and talk about this real quick, because there'll be somebody that will see that and it's like, oh my God, she's telling people to quit their jobs. No, bitch. Like, you don't know me if that is your immediate assumption of what you think that that post means behind it, okay? Um, and, and if you don't know that, then I just encourage you to maybe get to know me a little bit better, understand why I show up on social media and why I share. So, I, oh shit, thanks Ralphie's pooping. Hold on. Yeah, he's pooping. He's pooping like on an incline because we're like down the hill. I have to go pick that shit up. Okay. So, um, if you guys follow me, you know that, like, next Monday, October 23rd, has it been a whole entire year since I've been a bedside nurse. Um, and, sorry, I just get, like, freaked out and I can't see him. Hey, Jack. Um, it's been a whole year since I have worked bedside nursing. Because why? It was stressing me the fuck out, and it was causing me to be someone that I didn't want to be. Good boy! Can y'all see him? You probably can't see him. Um, uh, it was causing me to just be somebody who I knew that I didn't want to be and uh, being so stressed out and literally feeling like it was affecting my health at some points. Um, and legit, if you don't know my story, is that I was exposed to um, HIV and Hep C on the job and I'm healthy and I'm fine, but that was my smack from the universe that like you know, being the girl, like, I'm so unhappy in my job that, like, I'm supposed to love because I'm helping so many people and I'm supposed to love it, yet I, one, some days, legit, don't have time to go to the fucking bathroom and I know that there's people and maybe even other nurses that will say, oh, well, you know, that's your own problem or your own fault, but, like, I'm the person that, like, if I can't sit down and eat or go sit down and pee knowing that somebody else needs something from me. And, you know, maybe if I were a bedside nurse at this point in my life where I'm, like, really, like, focused on making myself a priority, it'd be a little bit differently. But, honestly, I don't. Because we are dealing with people when they're in their most vulnerable and their worst moments of their lives, right? And, I don't know, it's, it's my passion, it's my mission, I'm supposed to serve people. That's what I'm here for. So, um, I talk to a lot of girls, just some of them are nurses, some of them are not, and it just kind of, it all comes together. Um, you know, some people are just in, in these healthcare professions or serving people professions, like a teacher or they're nurses or they're uh, nursing aides or, um, you know, they're bartenders, they're waitresses, they're servers. They're in these positions where it's like, you got to put this person first, 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 first. And as a nurse, it becomes, you got to put the person first, first, first. And honestly, I think what a lot of people don't know about nursing is that for me, it seemed like you were treating a computer and not the patient, right? Because there's so much documentation and shit that you have to do. I always said I wish somebody would just walk around with a fucking video camera behind me so they could see all the stuff that I'm doing with my patients, which honestly, when I was a med surgeon nurse, including being able to sit down and talk to people. And that fucking, like right now, if I were a bedside nurse right now, it would be like still trying to get 
fucking 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock meds out and not making people feel like a fucking number, like making people feel like, let me take care of you. I want to take time to get to know you. And, and that just is where I am. I'm a relationship builder. And so nursing, yes, it is a serving profession. But oftentimes we are working for a fucking score. Um, we are working for a nurse administrator to make sure that we have our pain boards updated. And frankly, I don't have fucking time for that when, you know, I got one person crawling out of the bed, somebody else needs a blood transfusion, somebody else has got to go down for surgery, and you're asking me when the last time this person had fucking Dilaudid. I don't know. Go fucking look it up in the computer because you can figure that out. So to me, that that got very, like... <sighs> Okay, and then to add on top of that, the fact that I've been uh, exposed to HIV and hepatitis C, my hospital fucking, like, it was a bad situation. The, the way that they handle it, like, really kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. I had to suck it up and keep sucking it up. Um, but for those of you guys that really don't know this, and it makes me so mad. Yeah. Um, I was exposed to HIV and hepatitis C. There's prophylactic treatment that's supposed to be given within a certain period of time um there's a process to be followed when i went down to the er the fucking doctor was an asshole and was just like oh just flush your eyes out it's like no big deal and then there were three other doctors that were like oh my god they should have started you on prophylaxis immediately so you know hours pass because meds are most effective the quicker that they can be taken um hours pass whatever they give me i finally go sit down in the er was up for over fucking 24 hours um and then they gave me three days supply of these meds that I had to take for 30 fucking days. 30 days. So they gave me a prescription, whatever. That's a whole nother story how I couldn't get the prescription. Uh, one of the ER doctors didn't want to write the prescription for this. And here it was, my hospital. I was taking care of their patients. I had been exposed to a disease or two diseases. Um, and here, here I was, them not taking care of me, right? Fucking slap in the face. Um, and then the other part of this story goes into the fact that um, when I finally went to CVS to try to get the medications, their workman's comp shit was so fucked up that I couldn't even get the meds that I needed. And we were leaving to go to Punta Cana. So they couldn't give me a 30-day supply of medications that they needed to fucking give me. Standing in the middle of a fucking CVS crying. Fearing for my fucking life. Nothing is worth that. Nothing. Nothing is worth that. And so I think that I was already getting burned out. I was already getting stressed out. And that was a tipping point. And then last October, um, I, I will admit this very openly. Last October, I had a moment in, in, in nursing where I went to the bathroom and I cried. Because it was literally having like the worst day ever. Um, it was when I was a travel nurse. As a travel nurse, this hospital had given me a, a new, brand new nurse for me to orient. I'm not even on their fucking staff. I appreciate that you think I'm a great nurse and you don't know me um, long enough, um, but that you think I'm a great nurse in the fucking 11 weeks that you've gotten to know me and you're putting me with someone that's going to work your staff. They should be with one of your fucking staff nurses, the one that they're eventually going to follow, right? So um, I am very... I don't love teaching people, but if somebody's with me and they're brand new, I'm going to stop. I'm going to explain everything to them. Um, and that just is who I am. And so um, I had a miserable assignment the day before. Like I literally fired myself from one of the patient's rooms because she was such a bitch. And um, I literally had the charge nurse look at me and say, oh yeah. Um, so the second day in a row that they gave me the same patient assignment back, they gave me that brand new nurse again. Bless her heart, Vanessa. Love her so much. She's such a good nurse, right? Um, but they gave me that same brand new nurse again, and the charge nurse looks at me and, and like, here I am. I go to the bathroom crying. It's like four hours left of my shift. And she goes, oh, yeah, you know, and she was the charge nurse the day prior. She was like, oh, yeah, you know, that assignment really needs to be split up amongst people. Yet, yet I got them back to back on top of having a student nurse on having these really fucking busy, or not even a student nurse, a brand new nurse. It's like her second day on the floor. On top of having these really busy ass patients, I was done. I was fucking done. I went in the bathroom, I looked at myself and I said, I cannot keep living like this. I cannot, I cannot, it's killing me. It sucks, it's killing me. Um, and so I decided, hey, I'm gonna take a break. And that one month came two months, became six months, has now become a year next Monday. So that's my truth. So when somebody sends me a message to say, hey girl, I quit my job. I know that they're at that point. I can put myself in their shoes, no matter where they are, 
because this person, she's not even a nurse. She's like, I don't even know what the fuck she does. I think she actually had a really good job. She's not a nurse. But I can put myself in somebody's shoes of being so burned out, so miserable, feeling treated so poorly by your employers that you're just fucking done. That you're just done. And eventually, I think that there are two types of people. Maybe three. There's the person that will stay miserable and just say, oh my God, there's no way out. There's the person that will be miserable and know that there's a way out, but is scared to take a leap. And then there's the person that will just say, you know what, fuck this, the universe has my back, and they will fucking spread their wings and know that something will catch them when they fall. Okay? I've been all three of those people. The one miserable, not thinking that I could change it. The one miserable, thinking I'm going to change it. And finally the one, I'm going to take the sleep and change it. And so that's it. So when somebody sends me that message, girl, I quit my job. That's not me telling you to fucking quit your job. That's me telling you, thank you for fucking standing up for yourself and what you believe in and taking care of yourself. Because if you don't do that for yourself, guess what? No fucking else, nobody else is going to do that for you. Especially your employer. I don't give a fuck. Maybe unless it's Google. Somebody. Somebody really gives a damn about their employer. So, if you are the girl, and this speaks to you, and your job sucks, and it's miserable, start thinking of a way to change it. If you're a nurse, and you're so burned out, maybe you need to switch to a different shift, and go to days or nights. I will never recommend anyone go to night shift, because it fucking sucks, and you're, you're not meant to be up at those hours of the night. Um, but maybe it's that you need to change shifts. Maybe you need to change units all things that I did because I was struggling and I knew that something needed to change so I didn't just up and quit my fucking job what did I do change units within my hospital Whew. okay did that went to night shift um hated that really was like okay something's got to give went and travel nursed so I'm not saying like quit your job I'm saying find your fucking solution and if the solutions that you're finding still don't work, dig into yourself and take your fucking leap, girl. The universe will have your back. So to that person that reached out to me on Instagram today, and, and remember to message me to say, girl, I quit my job. I fucking stand up and I'm clapping for you today for having the strength and the courage to go do so. Love you guys so much. I hope that your fucking Wednesdays are amazing. It is Woman Crush Wednesday, and I hope for damn sure that you are your own fucking Woman Crush Wednesday today. I love you guys so much.